It's launch day for America's newest car company. Drawing inspiration from one of the 20th century's most revolutionary inventors, the father of AC electricity, Nikola Tesla. very momentous day for us. It is our first car, and of course it's a car belonging to our first customer, and that would be also our chairman, Elon Musk. I'm ecstatic, this is fantastic, awesome day. It feels like victory. <laughs> I feel great, it's a great day for Tesla. I got goosebumps as I saw the car roll in. We've been in development for so long, these feel like they're really our babies. This is the first production roadster and uh, a huge day for the company. Tesla is going to put thousands of these cars on the road. But beyond that, really what matters is, are we making a difference in the world? And for us to make a difference in the world, we have to build a lot of cars. You know, until we see every car on the road uh, being electric, uh, you know, we will not stop. So, you know, this is really just the beginning of the beginning. All right. Elon Musk is a true believer, and he put uh, you know, a tremendous amount of his personal prestige and personal wealth uh, into that company. Well, so far, this is a very expensive car. <laughs> Call this the $50 million car. <laughs> That's about the amount of money that I've invested in Tesla. <laughs> so it's kind of expensive. Detroit is doing a lousy job making cars and making money. I mean, it's a disaster. So, you know, the idea that Silicon Valley could do a better job making cars, especially electric cars, is a very powerful one. Uh, we've got Model 2 in development, which we're planning to unveil uh, probably in the second quarter of this year, which is the, uh, the electric sedan. Elon's a career troublemaker. He's taken on the banks, the space industry, and now the car companies. OK, do you want me to drive it? All right. Sweet. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> For me, Elon Musk has always been not really so much a car guy as an entrepreneur. He's had lots of companies in the past. He sold PayPal to eBay. I just look at what he's accomplished and I'm like, geez, I, I better start working harder because I'm not making those kind of accomplishments in my life. It's just a giant kick in the balls to the people that said we couldn't do it and that commercial space doesn't work. Elon Musk is about as close as you're going to get in real life to, to Tony Stark. And it shows you how one person can make a difference with a certain amount of smarts and inspiration to change the way people think. Suddenly there was the Tesla announcement. 200 mile range, zero to 60 in four point something seconds, 140 mile an hour top speed, 6,831 laptop batteries. Uh, and I, I basically said, well, now wait a minute. I've accepted everybody's arguments of why we can't do this. But here's this small startup company in California, and they think that they can get all of these figures. Elon's coup was just what Bob needed to drag GM back into the race. They weren't going to be shown up by a bunch of Silicon Valley upstarts. It was a powerful argument. So whether Tesla is ever hugely successful or not, I'll, I'll always owe him a debt of gratitude for having kind of broken the ice. Bob Lutz being a champion of electric cars is quite a switch from the Bob Lutz we used to know. He sold the board on the fact that this technology would leapfrog Toyota, which had been GM's nemesis. The electric car 